I don't know if you've ever seen a flock of birds land on a telephone pole. They fly around, 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 and all of a sudden reduce themselves to a very small volume as they land on the lines right next to the pole, or on the pole itself. So think of your mind that way. It's been scattered around for the day. And I've got all the parts to gather together here at the breath. Try to be sensitive to how the breath feels throughout the body. You can try one spot as your main focus, or you can try two. Think of a line connecting the two. Or you can try three. Navel, middle of the chest, middle of the head. And think of the breath coming in and out of that line. Your imagination plays a large role in helping you to settle down with the breath. Because all you can think about is the air coming in and out through the nose. It's not much to focus on. But when you think of the breath element throughout the body, there's a lot to work with. Some people find it too much. It's too distracting. In a case like that, you say, OK, I will take one spot. And then once they've settled down there, then it's OK to start spreading your awareness. In other cases, though, some people find it better to start with a whole body and then work in from there. So try things out. Use your imagination. As John Fung would say, use your ingenuity. And then be very observant. What's working, what's not working. Because you're already engaged in fabrication as you go through the day, thinking about what you're going to say, breathing, having perceptions float to the mind, having feelings float to the mind and to the body. What you're trying to do is take these things that you tend to do in a random way and bring them all together here at one. That's why the term for concentration, egakata, means gathered into one. Just like that flock of birds scattered around, you gathered into one spot. When all the different parts are there, then they can observe one another, and you see their interactions a lot more clearly. So gather the mind. And of course, as you leave meditation, don't let things get scattered unless they actually have to think about something, deal with something, and then come back to the come back to the breath if you can. Back to the sense of the body. That way, the next time the climb comes to settle down, it won't be such a huge flock of birds, and they will be scattered all over the place. They'll be right nearby. <laughs>